What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Nostalgic Toys Plus. Oh yes, today is a day ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, today is going to be the first day I am going to start and complete my first Gunpla build on my channel. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Yes, I am both excited and happy, and then at the same time, I ooh, might be a little intimidation there too. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we gonna get to that today. So first, let me just show you what all I got. Now, this is one of the actual Gundam figures, not a model kit, but a figure I got a while back. I think I got this probably at a toy convention, I think, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, but this is the RX 78-2 figure and yes I plan to actually keep him inside his packaging yes but for future Gunpla builds I do plan to have at least one actual Gundam figure loose because I want to compare the actual Gunpla model kit figures to the actual I guess you could say Gundam action figures from the Gundam universe. So we're going to get to that. But today, I just want to show off this figure that I have. Because at the end of this video, even though I'm going to leave him in packaging, I still want to compare the details of this one to that one. Let's see how, you know, maybe that one's going to be better. Maybe this one's going to be better. I don't know. But that's what we're going to find out. So got the figure there got the actual kit here and I like that sign I saw entry grade oh yes so <laughs> I'm glad I'm gonna be able to record my whole gunpla building progression the experience on my channel <laughs> so yes I am looking forward to this journey I'm glad you all gonna be here with me hopefully <laughs> So I got that, and then I also picked up this while I was at Hobby Lobby getting the other Gundams. This is the action base. So I want to say after I actually finish putting the Gunpla together, then ooh, you got to put this together too. Okay, that's not intimidating at all. <laughs> but not for it looks kind of like a quick build though. So yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, so once I build this and then I can connect it at the bottom to where I can actually start posing the Gundam. Okay. Hmm. All right. So yeah, so um, we got some building to do. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Job back a little bit. All right, let's see. Okay. Hmm. So there's, there's like one, two runners there. It's like three, four. Okay. Four runners. All right. And yes, definitely got to have the instruction manual. Ah. some instructions for you <laughs> Ooh, yep that's some instructions for you <laughs> yeah but no I'm not intimidated intimidated no not at all nope mm -mm. it's just gonna be like Lego <laughs> who am I kidding <laughs> but yeah but uh, she doesn't look too bad um yeah <laughs> trying to hide the fear from my voice <laughs> oh, okay all right so i am gonna go ahead and start opening up these runners and go ahead and get started now of course by all means you know i want you all to be able to stay and enjoy this video therefore i'm gonna do you all a favor yeah we are mm -hmm. 
I am going to go ahead and build this and re actually record it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on, I guess you could say super speed or whatnot for the actual build is concerned because I can imagine all these details like this, these parts. Yeah, it's going to take you boy a minute. Yeah, it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said I'm gonna build record put it on fast forward super speed whatever you want to call it and then let you all see that version of the video so that way this whole video won't be no four hours <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make that as short but yet still you know nice good footage of the actual bills so y'all can see what it's like and then after the fact, we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to tell you whether or not I made a grave mistake buying this Gunpla. Or whether this is a newfound hobby of mine. <laughs> so we're going to see which one it's going to be. <laughs> All right. So stay with me. Let's get started. Warp speed, baby.
what's up everybody and we are back oh my goodness <laughs> we know what no 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 let me let me not say it like that no no i actually finished it of course and i actually finished the base as you can see as well too so simply <laughs> and you know what i will be honest this was not a hard bill actually <laughs> to be truthful i had probably more trouble with this <laughs> than i did with this <laughs> and i say that because you know with this base you know with the little screws and everything and it, it was it was a little more involved than i thought it would be i'm not gonna lie it was but not hard because obviously it ain't it wasn't only so many parts you know but yeah, but I finished the actual Gundam itself, RX 78 2. He looks very good, y'all. I am very, very pleased with this. How he turned out. Yes, yes. So the actual bill took me about, um, let's just say, you know, go ahead and say an hour, because I was going to say technically about 51 minutes, but basically just go ahead and say a good hour. Yeah. And that's not bad. It wasn't too difficult. Um, you definitely gotta make sure you go over, read it, the instructions, put the right parts together. But thankfully, with this, even if you kind of confuse some parts, it's kind of hard to put them together incorrectly. So that's to the ben builder's benefit, to where when you put it on right, oh, everything is all great, but it's nice and smooth. Yeah. So I was happy about that part, very much so. Now, I'm gonna take him off his base real quick. Okay, now let's check on some real quick. And I'm gonna do a more in-depth video comparing model kits to action figures, but I'm just gonna show these two up close real quick so you all can see. Now, for me, of course, I'm not going to open the package, so I don't know particularly about articulation is concerned. So we're going to leave that up in the air. But as far as detail is concerned, I'm wondering if this one in detail may be a tad bit better. And hmm, I say that because of the actual fine lines, the dark lines that you see in this one versus you know it's real white for this one you know this one look like it's really really penciled in or inked in i should say whereas this one's real clean <laughs> so as far as detail is concerned the action figure in this particular case the um year one war in 0079 mobile suit gundam figure this one may have a little bit more detail than the model kit but now i will say in the future videos when i compare figures to model kits it's going to most likely be a gundam universe figure compared to a high grade figure now mind you this is entry grade so this is the grade that's below high grade so i'm expecting high grade to possibly be on this level if not exceeded but that's what we gonna find out next time y'all <laughs> so y'all stick with me and i hope you all continue to enjoy this gunpla journey that i am on <laughs> and just to give you a heads up uh let's see go ahead and put him back on this action stand there we go I'm very glad about that stand, y'all. I am very glad about that. That's that's going to be so helpful <laughs> to me in my videos when I get these other figures, especially the one with the beam savers. But just to give you all the heads up, let's see where. All it's right, up. slide these back just a bit. There we go. So I already got the high grade. RX-78-2 RX Gundam and I already got this Gundam Breaker Battlelog RX-72-2 and this is the US version 
American type. Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, Patriot, like an Iron Patriot gun, though. <laughs> so, yeah. So, those two are most likely going to be coming up soon. And I say soon because I'm going to try to, of course, this is Nostalgia Toys Plus, so I'm still going to throw in naturally them good old school toys or whatnot. Even though, technically speaking, Gundam is nostalgic because it came out in 1979. Fun fact. But I am going to change up, you know, when it comes to the videos, make sure I keep the videos, you know, nice and fresh. Some days will be nostalgic toys for back in the day, 2000s, whatever. And then some days it's going to be these Gundam bills. And other days it's going to be other collectibles. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you all will continue to enjoy me on this Gundam <laughs> journey that I am, I am on as well. So, of course, please do me a solid, y'all. Smash that like button, y'all. Smash that subscribe button. Because you know I'm going to keep coming with good old nostalgic stuff from back in the day. Good old 80s, 90s toys, some 2000s. And of course, some new school stuff too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw that in there. Got some collectibles coming as well. And of course, like you see before you, got that Gundam, y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but thank y'all for watching. Take care. Be blessed. Have a toy-rific day. Peace.